Alright, welcome to the Serenity Minecraft server. I am your host, Tiger Goatman, and it is March 31st. It is four hours, four and a half hours before our March building contest is over, and this month's building contest is bases. And so I... <laughs> Uh, Daisy did a poll a while back that asked us what our build style was, and I had a hard time answering that because I, building is not what first got me into Minecraft, oddly enough. And so I, um, I don't have much in the way of a base <laughs> to show you. I've seen the pictures of the other people's bases. They are amazing. And so I realized I don't stand a chance, but I heard that there might be a participation award. So here I am participating <laughs> in this build. So... Um, I have picked this beautiful uh, snowy biome, ice plains to be exact, to build my base in this time. And the goal was that I really wanted to find an igloo because igloos are new and igloos are cool. And I just thought that would be fun. So um, I realized that I don't have the prettiest base, but I decided to go for a different, <laughs> a different angle. Um, we'll see how it goes. So let's um, let's go inside and see. So this is the front. We've got some nice uh, kind of spruce tree entrance here and um i may have gone a little overboard with the doors but you know you can never you can never have too many doors so let's go inside all right and i'm just gonna go through that door and oh yeah there's make sure we should close all these behind us no nope, no nope, can't have that we don't want the, the creepers to get in so better keep going and thankfully I have some help um, with my doors because I've got a lot of villagers. A few of them anyway. All right, Tundra Town, this is my home. Oh, yeah, okay, I'm getting through the doors. More doors. And ah, the beautiful town of Tundra, Tiger's Tundra Town. It's haphazard and it's functional, but that's <laughs> all that matters to me. We did break up the doors a little bit here at these gates because, you know, gates look look good too so let's go see what's behind this door oh hello friend how is your day going good good i'm glad to hear that are you enjoying the doors good yes hmm. mm, that's right so uh in tundra town we have um a number of different ways to get around we've got our horse roaming around over here um this first igloo that you'll notice uh this is hand built uh, goes down into our skeleton uh, grinder, which we'll, we'll take a look at that. What are you following me around? I don't, I don't have enough meat for you. I'm sorry. Maybe I'll just have to deal with it. So, um, yeah. So we can walk down the path that goes to the skeleton grinder. We have this beautiful fountain over here, um, which is probably a little easier to see. We'll open up a couple of these. Let a little air through. That looks better. We've got a nice little fountain going, some jack-o'-lanterns. Uh, th some of these houses have not yet been uh, sold yet. Um, a couple of them have some extra doors inside. I know it really just helps the resale value when you're uh, marketing a house because, you know, in, in Minecraft, you can call every one of these a room. Um, and so, you know, the potential buyers can see like, oh, we've got tons of rooms in this house. It must be huge. When in fact it's just a tiny igloo, so um, yeah. So this helps the villagers, you know, feel at home. You know, I think they they love having doors around to open and close. It gives them something to do throughout the day, um, which is good. And we we have a couple over here that actually have a block over them, which you know I think actually constitutes a house, which you know makes the villagers happy and want want to have more kids. This is uh, just another door up here for in case you need to get in and out of up there. Um, we do have some uh, chorus plants, and these are mostly around as stakes to help me find my way back to my house because I get lost uh, quite a bit, actually. Um, this nice uh, metal door here is our entrance to our nether portal um, so that the villagers don't accidentally sneak into the nether. Here are cows. There's a lot of them in there. Um, I do find that having the swipe on the sword makes it really difficult to not murder baby cows when you're trying to just kill the parent cows, uh, so that's a little tricky. Um, here, just to spruce it up a little bit, pun intended, <laughs> we've got some uh, jungle wood doors, um, and over here we have a carrot farm, which will eventually allow the farmer villagers to feed the other villagers so that they can make more babies. 
Um, over there, we've got some ice farms and some tree farms. And then the last igloo, this is the original igloo um, that uh, I was generated by the map. And so you can come in here, and you know, I've got all the necessities, a bed, chest, armor, uh, that crafting table, and a furnace that I'd never use. Um, but this, uh, this room has a secret basement, right? So that's part of igloos. So we can go down in the secret basement. And uh, I don't have any more doors down here, but um, we've got our furnaces. We've got wheat and potatoes and carrots and uh, cocoa beans. We've got some cactuses that flow into that hopper. We've got sugarcane, enchanting, tables. Um, you know, what more do you really need? We've got some chests. We have Vigente, my baby pig, Vigente. How are you today, Vigente? I think that's how you say it. I have no idea. It seems correct to me. <laughs> so that's my little pig friend. He keeps everything in order. We've got our nether wart. All right, and then we're going down here. I should probably turn that off in a second. And down here, we have our skeleton grinder. They fall down, I hit them, and then they give me arrows and bones. And, um, this was gonna be an AFK fishing place, but it doesn't really work so I don't really use it. And then we go back up to that first igloo. Up the stairs, out, and this is inside of here. We go out here, and we're, we're back where we started. So, um, yeah, that is pretty much the extent of <laughs> what I've built. I often find myself here wondering what I've done with all the time that I've spent on this server, and I couldn't answer that. I, it, it feels like I would have been able to build a lot more, but this is all I got. So the, um, the forest over in this direction, I know has no dogs in it, as I've spent a lot of time over there looking for them. But anyway, thanks for coming. Thanks for visiting my house. And uh, hopefully it will be, oh, not killing me. <laughs> hopefully it will look much cooler in the future but probably not. I might add another igloo. That'd be about it. So thanks for watching. Have a great day. And here's the win in the build contest. <laughs> All right. Bye, everyone.